Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the border plot if n zeros at the origin. If n zeros is available at the origin, then how the border plot modification is available? Okay. So, for example, I will consider the open loop transfer function that is g of s h of s equal a or n zero set origin. So always numerator s power n. In this condition, first we will find out in border plot the magnitude m equal under root of magnitude of s power n. That is nothing but omega power n. If the magnitude in the db nothing but 20 log s power omega power n, then n 20 n log omega. This is the magnitude in the db. Next, what about slope? What about phase? Phase directly we will write whenever this is one pole is in the numerator one sorry one zero at the numerator which has power of n that means n zeros are available at the origin that time phase value we can write n phi by 2 n phi by 2 next from this we can write the slope how we will get the slope slope is we are doing the differentiation with the magnitude by d log omega d log omega then this will be cancelled the slope is nothing but the 20 into n this is the slope okay if n zeros are available at the origin then the magnitude equal omega power n and magnitude in db equal 20 n log omega the phase value equal n phi by 2 this n phi by 2 we will get from the we will get the solution whenever we are discussing the n zeros at the pole and this is the slope slope is nothing but whenever we are doing differentiation different we are doing the differentiation dif differentiate the magnitude with respect to the log omega then we will get the 20 n okay yeah so this is the these are the magnitude and slope and the phase for the if n zeros available at the origin okay and we will discuss we will discuss some points regarding this discussion the first point is whenever transfer function that is open loop transfer function consists by poles and zeros at the origin then magnitude plot start at frequency of 0.1 so generally we have poles and zeros that means s power n or 1 by s power n then the magnitude plot start at the frequency of the 0.1 with magnitude opposite sign it should be passes through the 0 db line so it must and should be passes through the 0 db line at at an intersection at at intersection of omega equal 1 why because here in the magnitude we have the log omega then you are substituting log 1 then it become the 0 and extended up to the infinite if the corner frequency doesn't exist if it doesn't have any corner frequency it is extended it is extended understand right this is the very important point that is whenever he mentioned zeros and poles at the origin that time you should take the initial frequency equal to 0.1 okay then substitute these values and at omega equal 1 automatically become the 0 it will reach the 0 db line and it will extend up to infinite if there is no corner frequency exist so we will discuss about the corner frequency in the further topics and second point zeros always give the positive slope whenever we have the zeros zeros means in the numerator it will give the positive slope look at here so if you have the zero then it, the positive slope is 20 db per decade look at here why 
why it is like this so look at here this is n pi by 2 if it is for example for example we have only one zero then automatically phase is 5 by 2 if there is 2 then the 2 5 by 2 is the phase that is the 5 if the 3 is there then 3 5 by 2 like that okay yes slope is like this if poles always gives negative slope look at it poles means always in the denominator that will it will give the negative slope that means it is decreases so negative slope is minus 20 db per decade per decade it will decrease the minus 20 db okay so these are the important points what is the first point first point means if the number of poles and zeros at the origin then automatically you should take starting frequency at the point one first point if only zeros are available then it will give the positive slope that will be rise if the poles is available then it will give the negative slope that will be decreases okay these are the important points we will discuss a problem regarding this okay the problem is draw the border plot for the open loop transfer function 100 by s power 8 okay this is the open loop transfer function he mentioned so that's why i will write g h of s equal to 100 by s power 8 okay first in border plot we have two plots one magnitude plot another one is the phase plot for the magnitude plot you should find out the magnitude magnitude means 100 by s power 8 okay 100 by s power 8 means we can write the magnitude is like this 100 by s power 8 okay so this is the 100 by omega power n and but we we need magnitude in the db what we have to do we have to apply the 20 log 100 by omega power n so we should do this 20 log 100 plus 20 log 1 by omega power n okay yeah 20 log 1 by omega power n so what we will get here 20 log 1 by omega power n yeah so generally this is 20 log 100 is a starting point so generally we directly we can write this no problem at all so we should make for this magnitude is here the s power 8 means not omega power n this is the omega power 8 this is the omega power 8 20 log omega power 8 then this is the separate term so leave this term take this term so one term is directly we get 20 log 10 square okay 20 log 10 square we can write 20 log 10 square means 20 into 2 log 10 base 10 that means we have the 40 this is the constant leave this constant and next term is the 20 log 1 by omega power 8 then we can write 20 log omega power minus 8 so minus 8 into 20 we will get the minus 160 log omega minus 160 log omega okay we have magnitude 1 this is the constant and another one is the variable with the frequency then what is the slope we will get we will get what is the phase so what what we will get the slope slope what is the slope by doing the differentiation with the magnitude d log omega so by doing the differentiation we will get slope is slope is this is by doing the differentiation with this we will get minus 160 minus 160 db per decade so do the differentiation with with 
with this term do the differentiation with this term we will get minus 160 db per decade next what is the phase next we require the phase phase equal we have omega power 8 that's why 8 so phase i can write the phase is like this 1 by 8 into 5 by 2 when the phase is comes outside we will get minus 8 5 by 2 this is the phase okay finally we will get these things okay finally we will get these things so we can write now we will draw the magnitude plot as well as the phase plot first i will draw i will draw the magnitude plot magnitude plot means this is the graph between magnitude in db and the log so this is the magnitude in db okay i will take starting frequency always consider the 0.1 then after one decade it is the 1 after that it is the 10 it is the 100 and it is the 1000 like that so it will be increases okay it will be increases so we should take for initially for log 0.1 we will get plus 160 so substitute this plus 160 okay log 0.1 log 0.1 means 10 power minus 1 we will get the 160 here so take it this is the 160 for example this is the 160 and at 1 at omega equal 1 at omega equal 1 log 1 means it become the 0 that means it become the 0 after that it will be increases after that it will be increases like this okay so just take a dotted line because we are missing the dc gain dc gain means that is the k okay leave that but actually we have the constant term at omega equal 0 at omega equal 0 we have the constant time that means every time this 40 db will be added 40 db will be added that means so that means by adding this 40 db so if you are adding this 40 db it will become the 200 it will become the 200 okay then by by following this we should get like this we should increase this it's a straight line actually like this so at 0.1 db it has the 200 at 1 we have some 40 db here we have some 40 db here at 10 exactly not 10 we don't know what is this value we don't know we will increase us like this it will be increases like this it start from the 200 it will become zero somewhere and it increases like this okay this is for the magnitude plot next we will move on to the phase plot so phase plot means this is the phase plot phase plot is angle between the phase and the frequency then by here for phase if you find out the phase here for any frequency the phase value is minus 8 5 by 2 minus 8 into 5 by 2 means 90 8 90 means this is the 720 so maybe this is the 0 this is the positive phase this is the negative phase this will be the minus 720 so better to take in the red line so this is the phase this is the phase okay so first initial point first look at the dc gain keep the dc gain apart here keep the dc gain is apart then take some values apply the omega starting values then you will get the problem okay i hope all of you understand this session and the problem thank you